The legalization of marijuana emerging as the best option in the state budget crisis. Some Democrats at the Capitol say it's the most acceptable of three controversial proposals that would help raise revenue to help solve the state's red ink problem. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with that. Mark. Hi, Ann and Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, some are saying it's the least of three evils. Those who are pushing for this uh, that is legalization of recreational marijuana say that the revenue that it would be that would produce from the tax on it is just too significant to ignore in the Connecticut House it is believed that legalizing marijuana has supporters among some Democrats and some Republicans Democratic leaders say of the three controversial items included in their budget plan electronic highway tolls a third gambling casino and the legalization of marijuana for recreational use Legal marijuana is the most acceptable to constituents. They frequently cite the Quinnipiac poll that suggests 63% approval, but that's not the only way they tested the topic. People made, um, had town hall meetings, people talked to different areas uh, about what are the things, and a lot of us did surveys. Leading some to believe marijuana legalization could pass the House. But the evenly divided state Senate is another matter. All 18 Republican senators are said to be opposed, meaning it would take all 18 Democrats and the lieutenant governor's tiebreaker vote to pass. But at least two Democrats are opposed. Weathersfield State Senator Paul Doyle opposed the medical marijuana law. There are always certain issues that Trump, you know, that could, could rise to the level of me not supporting a budget. This one is very, very close. And State Senator Gail Slosberg of Milford. I don't think that we should be driving our, our budget on the basis of legalizing marijuana. I think there are significant challenges with it. I think there are health reasons why we shouldn't be uh, legalizing it. Senate Democratic leader Martin Looney of New Haven is the prime supporter of legalization and says he is not discouraged. We have uh, more support for it now than we had a couple of months ago. And we expect to have more support for it by the time the vote comes than, than we have now. But even Senator Doyle, who is the most outspoken opponent of legalizing recreational marijuana, won't completely rule it out, that is, voting for it if it's part of the budget, down the road. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.